dotted around the lush jungle and mangrove swamps on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. They seem out of place. Wrecks that look nothing like the area's traditional boats. They're vestiges of a merciless war waged by the Colombian Navy es un naval tipo on smugglers who use these submarines to ferry drugs. We set off with this marine infantry unit deep into the southern Colombian jungle. The boat glides along the river as quietly as possible. Avance, despacio, los dos ametralladores pendientes de los dos costados. The officer is looking for any clue that would put him on the smuggler's tracks. The geography of this part of Colombia is ideal for growing cocaine. It's an inhospitable, out-of-the-way place, which is difficult to access. It allows traffickers to hide their laboratories and bases before exporting their cargoes. When the soldiers see something, they disembark and head into the jungle. The danger is real because the cartels fight back. Today, the soldiers come across a secret base that the smugglers appear to have left in a hurry. It's a mini shipyard, and the submarine is practically ready to go. The ground is littered with the materials used to build it. Fiberglass for the hull, special paint, boat motors, equipment that can be expensive. Building these submarines costs up to 600,000 euros each, depending on the model. But a kilo of cocaine is sold for almost 30,000 euros in the United States, and these submarines have a capacity of two or three tons. So we're talking about cargoes which can fetch up to 80 million euros. It's a big margin. When they're not intercepted on land, the smugglers set out in their submarines to Central America and Mexico. There, they hand over their cargo to cartels who arrange its passage to the United States. Colombian and American Marines work together to stop them, like on this spectacular high seas capture. At the Tumaco naval base, the military exhibits its war takings. These engines started appearing 20 years ago after the cartels contracted Russian engineers to teach them how to build them. Some are proper submarines, capable of diving to a depth of about 10 meters with a three to five man crew. The compartments at the front is where they stock the drugs. Behind that is the pilot compartment where the crew is. And in the last compartment, you have the motor and the fuel reserves. But most of the vessels are semi-submersible. Completely flat, they navigate just above sea level. Most of the time, they navigate by sight. They steer standing up, with their hands on the rudder, and their heads looking out of the top. Every day, the Coast Guards train in stopping not just submarines, but also go-fast boats, the vessel of choice for smugglers. The Navy estimates that it intercepts just over half of the 1,200 tons of cocaine produced in Colombia every year. Venga del aire. 